sit in a comfortable meditative posture adjust your position so that you do not have to move any part of the body during the practice ensure that the back is upright and straight head neck shoulders held properly upright and straight place the hands on top of the knees either in gyan mudra or chin mudra gently close your eyes become aware of the whole body internally feel the spine rising straight up from the floor supporting the head be aware of the synchronized and balanced position of the arms and legs total awareness of the body adjust the body posture so that there is no tension so that there is no discomfort in any part of the body mentally move your awareness from one part of the body to the next and ensure that the whole body is in a state of relaxation become aware of slow and deep breathing and count few breaths mentally as you inhale and as you exhale count as one breath inhalation and exhalation as another breath inhalation and exhalation as another breath and with each breath out feel the relaxation of the body becoming deeper and deeper and deeper try to see the whole body internally Imagine that there is a full length mirror in front of the body and in the mental mirror see the body from the front see the body from the back see the body from the right side see the body from the left side see the body from the top
Visualize your body externally as if you were seeing it in a full-length mirror. See the reflection of the body in the full-length mirror. As you see the reflection, observe the physical posture, correct your posture if necessary, and then become firm and steady. Become aware of the firm and steady posture of the whole body. Feel that you are rooted to the floor. Imagine that your body is growing up from the floor like a tree. The torso is the trunk, arms and head are the branches, legs are the roots. Your body is rooted to the floor and it will not move. Nothing should disturb the ease of your body. Nothing should disturb the stability of the body. Now, Observe the sounds around you. Become aware of the sounds that exist around you, near and distant sounds, loud and subtle sounds. Observe all the sounds mentally. The sounds should not disturb you. Along with sounds, become aware of any and all physical sensations which your body may experience. Physical sensations such as cold, heat, itching, pain, uneasiness, tension, stiffness, etc. If there are any physical sensations, Direct your awareness to those sensations, to those feelings. Let them be a focus for your mind. But you should not be disturbed by these sensations. You should not be disturbed by these feelings. Just be an observer of the experience.
Do not struggle with yourself. Observe and remain undisturbed. The senses have to be quietened, not by force, but by a technique. The senses must remain calm. The mind should observe the sensations, the feelings which arise in the body. The senses should be calmed. The senses should be relaxed. Develop the attitude of I am the seer of the experiences. I am the observer of the experiences. I am the experiencer of the experience. If the mind begins to wander, bring it back to the sensations in the body. Direct your awareness to the head. Be aware of the head and nothing else. Feel any and all sensations in the head. Visualize the head. Remember that you are the drasta, the experiencer of the experience. Shift your awareness to the neck. Feel any sensation in the neck. Continue to be aware. Following the same process, move the awareness to the shoulders. To the right arm. the left arm, the whole of the back, the whole torso, the right leg, the left leg, the whole body. Be aware of the whole body. Intensify the awareness of the body. Become aware of the subject and the object. the ears and the sound. The eyes and the form. The skin and the touch. The tongue and the taste. the nose and the smell, 
the sensory experiences have to be witnessed properly without any disturbance. This is the introversion of the sensory experiences. In this, you do not have to reject or dislike any of the outer sensory experiences, but look at them with the attitude of a witness. In few moments, you will experience an atmosphere of calm, tranquility and peace inside. There shall be noise, there shall be disturbances. The body will move, but you will have to develop the dharma of a calm, and silent witness. You will have to develop the attitude of an undisturbed observer. Now become aware of the thinking process. Become aware of the thoughts, the spontaneous thought process. Thoughts that come and go of their own. Observe the mental activity. Observe the thought activity in the mind. You do not have to try to think. You do not have to create any thought. You do not have to bring any thought to your mind, but simply observe the natural, spontaneous thoughts that arise in your mind, that come in the range of your mental awareness and then go away. You have to be a silent, passive witness of every thought that passes through the mind. When you observe, when you become aware of a particular thought, you will have to say to yourself mentally, I know. I am thinking, I know, I am observing, I know, I am not involved in the process of thinking, I am only a witness. Many times it happens that when you begin to watch the mind, when you begin to watch and observe the thoughts, the mind becomes blank free from thoughts. If you find this situation, then at that time become aware of the thoughtless state of mind as well. There can come a state of thoughtlessness even in the case of a beginner. You are looking at the process of your thoughts and be aware 
of the thoughts that are passing through the mind. Remain alert all throughout. You are not checking your thoughts. You are not creating thoughts. You are not stopping your thoughts. But you are observing and knowing your thoughts. If at times you become absent-minded, then again revive your awareness of the practice. The practice of Antarmauna is the practice of observing the thoughts, calming the mind, observing the thoughts, and experiencing the state of drasta. Be aware of all thoughts that are spontaneously manifesting at the conscious plane. They may be good thoughts or they may be negative thoughts. These thoughts do not come anywhere from outside. They are expressions of the inner personality. They are expressions of yourself. The sense experience comes from outside and thoughts are manifestations and expressions of the inner self. See your own thoughts. Know the content of your inner personality. If negative thoughts do not come to your conscious mind, it means that you have suppressed some aspect of your nature and not accepting the negativity within yourself. Do not try to think only positive thoughts, but be ready to accept any and all thoughts as and when they come to the conscious dimension of the mind. The thoughts will come from the subconscious. The thoughts will come from the unconscious to the conscious dimension. Positive thoughts, negative thoughts, pious thoughts, bad thoughts, whenever they come, observe them without being affected by them. Without rejecting them, without suppressing them, without creating them. Be a simple observer. Mm. 
observe yourself with absolute detachment. Do not suppress any thought. If you do so, they will come back with a greater force next time. Remain alert. Observe. And if there are no thoughts coming to the surface of the mind, then maintain awareness of the thoughtless state of mind. Remember that you are practicing antarmauna. Antarmauna is a practice of inner silence. Silence which is attained not by suppression of an inner experience, but silence which is attained after harmonizing the activities of the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious mind. Harmony of mental experiences begin with developing the awareness of the senses, sensory experiences, thoughts, and feelings associated with the thoughts. Now, stop this practice and become aware of the external environment. Become aware of the environment, the body, the location, the place where you are sitting, practicing antarmauna. Become aware of the breath. Feel the breath inside the throat. Watch the movement of breath in the throat. Inhale deeply and chant Om three times with me. Gently move the hands, fingers, head from side to side. Rub the hands together 
and then place the palms on top of the closed eyes and slowly open the eyes, move the body. Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat, Hari Om Tat Sat. The practice of Antarmaun is over.